tradition was started in the year 1972 on this auspicious occasion. I recollect and uh, my obeisance to the founder of the school late Mr. Jack Bowen Rao. He had set up such good traditions in the school which are relevant to any year. Now this is the 50th year, still it is relevant. And uh, this good tradition had been adopted by many, many schools that have come later. Observed and picked up a very good tradition to pass on, to spread. And I tell you, this is going to be one of the most memorable year for the students as well as the teachers. For the past one week, a preparation had been going on. The teachers they were discussing, the students they were discussing. So I want to be that teacher, I want to be this teacher. So this kind of forward is there and today we are all here to celebrate that. And as a part of the local self-government, now we can see it is very difficult to identify who is teacher, who is student, who is student teacher, right? So that is, that is the best part of it, nice part of it. As a part of that now, the principle for today, I welcome, I call on Master Vikas from Great Level, YPC to come onto the stage and be the principal for today and carry on with the proceedings. Thank you, sir. Once again, I wish you all a very happy Teacher's Day. Today, we all gathered here on account of the birthday of Dr. Sarvapalli Radhakrishnan, who was a great teacher and a philosopher. He was India's first Vice President. Radhakrishnan was a great writer and statesman. It is because of his abiding interest in education and his philosophical writings that his birthday anniversary is celebrated as Teacher's Day. Today there are some students with us who would like to share their thoughts about teachers. Now I invite them onto the stage. The first one to come onto the stage, Master G. Ashit Ram LKG A2. Teachers Day. I wish all my teachers a very happy Teachers Day. 
It is my honor to talk about all my teachers on this wonderful occasion. Teachers Day is celebrated on 5th September. This day is celebrated to commemorate the birth anniversary of Dr. Sadepalli Radha Krishnan. He was the first Vice President of India and second President of India. This day is an opportunity to pay tribute to all our teachers for their selfless efforts. So we should always obey our teachers' order and follow their advice. Teachers have great source of knowledge who guide us towards success. Dr. Sadepalli Radha Krishnan was a great philosopher and statesman. He was the first man who explains our culture to the Western countries. He was a man with great vision. He was born with Telugu-speaking Niyogi Brahmin family at Tirutani, Madras. His primary education was at KV High School and secondary education was at H.E. Lutheran Mission School. At the age of 17, he enrolled in Madras Christian College after finishing his first art class. He finished his master's degree in 1906 from the same institution. He wrote several articles about the prestigious journals such as the Quest International Journal of Ethics. Sadepalli Radha Krishnan was an academic philosopher and statesman who was one of the most well-known and prominent Indian thinkers in academic circles during the 20th century. As we feel proud to celebrate his birthday as Teacher's Day, I thank Principal Sir and Madam for giving me this wonderful opportunity. Thank you. By Yoshita. Next on we come on to the stage is Master Sri Pablo Kamal from Red Cells in B. And all my teachers and friends, a warm good morning to one and all. Myself, Sri Pablo Kamal, wishing all my respected teachers a happy Teachers Day. We usually celebrate Teachers Day in India in the remembrance of the birthday of our great statesman and philosopher Dr. Sarvepalli Radha Krishnan. He served as first Vice President of India from 1952 to 1962 and from 1962 to 1967 as second president of India. He was born on 5th September 1888 in Tiruttani to Sarvepalli Swami and Sikama Garu. He introduced Indian philosophy to West, bridging the gap between both the cultures. Dr. Sarvepalli Radhakrishnan was awarded several high awards during his lifetime like the Bharat Ratna, the highest civilian award in India in 1954. As we all know that the teachers are the pillars of strength and guiding force in students' lives. So we celebrate September 5th as Teachers' Day as a tribute of the contribution made by teachers to the society. Since 1962 is Dr. Sarvepalli Radhakrishnan's birthday, he celebrated as Teachers' Day. I thank my principal for giving me this wonderful opportunity. Thank you. Everyone present here. My name is Sheikh Mohammed Umar of Grade 8C. It's my honor and an extreme privilege to stand here today to deliver a speech on this auspicious occasion of Teachers' Day. I would like to wish all my respected teachers a very happy Teachers' Day. It is because of your hard work and dedication that as we students learn and grow into a better person every day. We are highly grateful for what our teachers have done a lot in building our foundations for tomorrow. We are celebrating Teachers Day today which is essentially celebrated to commemorate the birth anniversary of Dr. Sarvepalli Radhakrishnan. He was one of the best scholars, statesmen and philosopher of our country which we had ever seen. He was also the second president of India. More than 100 countries in the world celebrate Teachers Day in their countries. Teachers shape us for our bright future, guide us to face the world's challenges and push us to achieve our dreams. It's true, teachers are our best friends and they are best critics too. I bow my head down and offer my deepest gratitude to them today and forever. I once again wish all my teachers a very happy Teachers Day. I thank Principal Sir and Madam for giving me this golden opportunity. Thank you. Principal Sir, Madam, teachers and all my dear friends. Good morning to one and all. Myself, Vairali from Sandit 9, feel privileged and honor to speak a few words on this auspicious occasion. First of all, I want to wish all my teachers a very happy Teachers Day. Every year in India, September 5th is marked as the birth anniversary of Dr. Sarvay Palya Radha Krishnan. On this special occasion, I wish to convey my, my best wishes and greetings to all the teachers over India. The fact behind celebrating Teachers Day on September 5th, when students approach Radha Krishnan 
to celebrate his birthday he replied that instead of celebrating my birthday it is better if you dedicate the day to try with the whole teaching profession teachers are the backbone of our society apart from academics teachers stand with us at every step to guide motivate inspire to get success sarve pandi radha krishna philosophy was founded in advaita vedanta he is one of the india's best and most philosopher of comparative religion and philosophy we the students must inspire and follow such great leaders like sarve pandi radha krishna i thank the principal sir for giving me precious opportunity thank you all for listening once again i wish my teachers a very happy teachers day thank you all Please from my name. Now we have a special song from Thank You Teachers, Thank You. The singer sir Kumari A. Bhuvita Grade B, Kumari B. Bhavana Grade B, Kumari Shaikh B. A. I. Fatma Grade B, Kumari C. H. Durga Maheshwar Grade B, Kumari L. Fauzia Grade B, Kumari Shaikh Sana Fatima Grade B, Kumari Shaikh Halima Sir Sadia Grade B. Thank you teachers thank you you're the best it's true take a bow we thank you now for everything you do from the early morning to the setting of the sun you look for creative ways to make our learning fun thank you teachers thank you you're the best it's true take a bow we thank you now for everything you do thanks so much for sharing the sharing all the knowledge in your brain thank you teachers thank you you are the best it's true take a bow we thank you now for everything you do take a bow we thank you now for everything you do thank you honorable principal of the day mr vikas of grade level respected principal chairman mr j suraj mohan sir respected principal mrs vanila all my dear teachers my dear beloved student teachers parents and all the students a warm good morning and a happy teachers to all the teachers this morning i humble myself and it's an honor to stand on the very stage 51 years of education at st john's i thank god for these beautiful years these 51 years the great leaders emerged the great teachers work is seen so well in the students my dear teachers simple small inspirational true story the new blue dress many of us taught this lesson in class 8 old curriculum many years it always inspires me because this story is a story which talks about wonderful characters put to 
together as a teacher. A small little girl goes back to school after the vacation. The whole class comes in full school uniform, new dresses. But this little girl, a poor girl, no clothes, not even properly washed frock. The teacher looks at the girl every day, looks at everyone in the class, and she says, Girl, she calls to the corner, not in front of everybody. Girl, will you go home and tell your mother to wash your dress and give you a nice bath and wash your hair? The girl is so shy, she puts her head down. She goes home, but mother never bothers. She's a hard worker. Mother goes for work from morning till evening. Works in many homes. Father also does a lot of labor work. So, can't afford to give bath or buy a cloth. Two, three days after four, five days, teacher thought, okay, I've given an instruction, but there is no change. The girl is coming same way. She's beautiful face, pretty face, intelligent look, hard-working girl, but her appearance is poor and shabby. Then teacher silently bought a nice new blue dress and gifted her and said, girl, go wear this. The next day, the girl came in that new blue dress which was a given gift from the teacher. And when she wore the dress, she washed herself because she's so young, she cannot wash her clothes. That's why she used to come dirtily every day. She was dependent on mother and father for her looks. Now that she has new blue dress, she nicely dressed up and came to school. Everyone was surprised to see her beauty when she has worn that new blue dress. And that evening parents were ashamed. Our girl is looking so neat and nice and tidy. We are so dirty. Mother started cleaning the home and the kitchen and the rooms and washed. Father started making a beautiful fence and garden and repairing and painting the fence. That blue dress of the girl changed the house appearance, the garden, the fence. The neighbors were ashamed. Then they said, when our neighbor is looking so beautiful, why not we? The whole colony made their homes look so beautiful. Then one of the minister of the political leader walking through that colony and he said, this colony is to be so shabby. How come it, it looks so neat? They're making their gardens. They're having their fences. They're struggling hard though they don't have the power supply, electricity supply, though they don't have the water supply, how this colony is improving? Then they came to know about this girl's story and the teacher's story. Immediately, the political leader has given a grant of the road, light and water supply to that area. This story of this area has inspired many areas, many towns, many cities. My dear teacher, one simple gesture in the classroom, looking at that small little girl, I can say the teacher's compassion, the teacher's presence of mind, the teacher's helping hand, the teacher motivated, inspired, and the teacher emerged as leader, a powerful leader, not just changing the minds in the classroom, but changing the minds at home, changing the minds in the colonies, changing the minds in the cities and states and nation. That's why teacher, you are a powerful leader. We need powerful leaders today to make our nation strong. Every teacher's day, 
remind ourselves that we are compassionate, helping, motivational, inspiring and powerful leaders. I wish you all happy Teachers Day. Enjoy. God bless you all. Now a special song, Chadu Nerpe Guru Lukrut, Ide Mavandana. Singer Sir, Kumari, I Modika Great Tendi, Kumari P. Charitra Sai Great Nanya, Kumari P. Mani Megna Great Nanya, Kumari J. Nikita Sonia Great Nanya, Kumari K. Jessica Parimela Great Nanya, Kumari A. Nija Sarita Great Nanya, Kumari K. Asmi Great Nanya. Nerpe Guru Bhukhi Dema Vandanam Dari Chupe Tata Ki Dema Vandanam Abhi Vandanam Chadu Nerpe Guru Bhukhi Dema Vandanam Dari Chupe Tata Ki Dema Vandanam Abhi Vandanam Mahani Yulu Mahapurushulu Andari Kodarsya Murthulu Mahani Yulu Mahapurushulu Andari Kodarsya Murthulu Mabhavita Kukandhi Rekalu Mabhragati Ki Adhi Guru Hulu Mabhavita Kukandhi Rekalu Mabhragati Ki Adhi Guru Hulu Chadu Nerpe Guru Bhukhi Dema Vandanam Dari Chupe Data Ki Dema Vandanam Abhi Vandanam Matti Loma Nikya Medagi Maratata Mulati Chidipti Matti Loma Nikya Medagi Maratata Mulati Chidipti Velugu Nitsche Ranguladdi Nana Nidhi Gati Chididdi Velugu Nitsche Ranguladdi Nana Nidhi Gati Chididdi Chadu Nerpe Guru Bhukhi Dema Vandanam Dari Chupe Data Ki Dema Vandanam Abhi Vandanam Unnata Sikarala Vaipu Mammu Nadipina Upadhyayu Lai Maku Vidya Nerpina Unnata Sikarala Vaipu Mammu Nadipina Upadhyayu Lai Maku Vidya Nerpina Yemiste Meerunam Thiruno Guru Deva Yemiste Meerunam Thiruno Guru Deva Ega love you la mai ni ne du maru va mai ya. Ega love you la mai ni ne guru bu ki de ma vandanam. Dari chupe da ta ki de ma vandanam ma bi vandanam. Shadu ne pe guru bu ki de ma vandanam. Dari chupe da. Vandanam Abhivandanam Vandanam Abhivandanam Vandanam Abhivandanam Surat Mahasaya Honorable Principal of the day, Mr. Vikas Madam of the day, principal of the day, and all the teachers of the day, first of all, a very special teacher's day to you. This is your very special teacher's day. And today, the principal, the director, madam, and the regular teachers who have taken the back seat and allowed their students to take up their place for you, the real teachers, happy teachers day. Just now we heard a song. How 
can be repaid. You know, but I also have a teacher, right? Everybody has a teacher. Nobody can repay. Just like you can't repay the love of your mother, whatever you do, you can't repay. A teacher's kindness, care, love that you shared, it can never be repaid. We can only be grateful. We can only express our gratitude. Today is the celebration in honor of the birthday of Dr. Sarveer Pali Radhakrishnan. We have heard, we have heard what is said about him, a great philosopher. To talk about Radhakrishnan, he is the bridge, like no further. Eastern philosophy and Western philosophy. At a time, at a time, when our own Vedanta is, was not being very popular, only when Kant and the Western philosophy, the Western thought was being popular, Radhakrishnan studied the Western philosophy. Then he understood the Eastern philosophy. See, India is a great country where five religions have come up. So it is a, it's a place of philosophy, it's a place of thought, it's a place of goodness where religions were born. Five religions were born. So he found a gap that the Western world has not really understood the Eastern philosophy. And he started spreading with his position and the greatness about him or the greatness about any teacher is to make a complicated thing simple so that the layman, the masses can understand. So that is what Sarvi Palitra Krishna did because a layman can't understand the Vedanta, the scriptures, the Vedantic scriptures. You need to be a very good scholar to read and understand. So, Samuel Pali Radhakrishnan did that, simplified that. Okay, now, in his honor, we are celebrating this one. And now coming back to the present situation about Teacher's Day. Madam said about the blue dress. Many of my son's shirts are with many students from many years. Because whenever they tear a shirt, Whenever uh, they fall even into the mud or when they are drenched. Madam gives her son's dresses to them. So I just reminded her of that. Okay? And uh, when I say as a teacher, it's definitely see 40, 40 students in a class and you have to control 40 students. See, many can't control two parents, two students, two children at home. The noise, right? See, they, it is so bothersome. And a teacher, one teacher has to handle 40 students, 40 different minds. It's a, I tell you, it's a great, great feat by any teacher that the teacher performs every day in the classroom. Now what is the mind of a teacher? What is the mind of a teacher? So I can tell my mind and many of the teachers share my mind. When I came, when I came for teaching, I came with one idea in my mind. Only one idea. See, there is nobody that has no talent. Everybody has talent. There is no one in this world that do not have potential. The only thing is, the only thing is, you have to make them aware of that potential they have in them. It is very difficult to identify. See, some people, what they think is, if they are getting good marks, they are very clever, they are very intelligent. No! 
some parent is bothering them at home, read, read, read in there by handing and coming. Not necessarily everyone, but many cases I see are a witness of that. And uh, many other, what they do is they compare them with those. See, why is my chain not like that? No two minds are equal. No two minds are equal. So that is why my priority is the person who haven't realized. Or if they are doing it in a wrong way, hey, it is not like that. It is like this. Individual differences. A good teacher identifies the individual differences. This is what we try to do with the students. And another thing, my favorite thing is taking attendance. Why is my favorite thing taking attendance? Attendance has such a significance. When I take an attendance, I never call by roll numbers. I call only by names. You know how much a name is important. Roll number one, yes sir, two, yes sir, three, yes sir. Well, no numbers. Numbers are given for people in jail, right? But name is very important for us, my name. If somebody calls my name, I like it. So attendance is one important thing. Shekhar, yes sir. Mohan, yes sir. Prithvi, yes sir. Rakesh, yes sir. And we'll see that, we'll see the chain. Ah, chain is here. Nice. Give a smile. I make I make it a point to give a smile. Yeah, you're here. I'm happy to be with you. And uh, this also gives me another chance. What the, if somebody is absent? Hey, why were you absent yesterday? Fever? Uh, how are you today? Are you all right? Say, so what a wonderful way to build a rapport with the students. This is what, with this is very important. See, treating one another with kindness is important. Like Kalam said, nobody can change this world except for primary teachers. This responsibility is fully realized in St. John's English Medium School. This is our philosophy. Share. We, we, we sharing day. Be kind. Talk politely with one another. Nowadays there is this philosophy that has come up in the society. I can't understand. If you want to do anything done, shout. Shout. Shout at them. Go on to them. Stick your face into their face. And shout. Then it gets, things can get done. No, it can't happen like that. Weakness. Goodness is taught to be weakness. That's the new philosophy of today. Right. So, only good people can change this world. And only teachers can do that. And teachers are doing that. So that is why we are very proud to be teachers and take up the responsibility. We are doing this for so many years. And this day, we learned so much from the students, right? They, they teach us so many things. First of all, they teach us patience, a lot of patience. And then we guide them to be an all-rounder, speaker, debater, quiz, academics, culturals. See, what is the, what is the point to become a a manager of something, you become an administrator of something and you can't address a group of people? What is the point? And what is the point you become an IS officer, IPS officer and you are corrupt and you are taking bribes and you have whole grudges and you punish people because they did not do you a personal favor? What kind of sense? Are you going? Why are you? Why do you want that? See, many people want to become doctors, many people want to become engineers because they can earn money. My God, what is the philosophy of 
earning money? No. See, your heart tells what you want to be. Your heart tells. And you have to be that only. I want to be a writer. I want to be an artist. I want to be a musician. You have to be that. Why bother about your uncle, your neighbor, your parent who has his unfulfilled dream and he wants to realize it with you? Nobody can realize anybody's dreams. You can realize only your dream. And the responsibility of a teacher is to identify, fellow, this is your passion. I have understood that. Is it right? No, it's not. Is this right? So much pressure. So today, on this day of Teacher's Day, I request my one message to parents. Trust the teachers. Listen to the teachers. They spend more time with your kids than even the parents. There are many parents, by the time they wake up, they are gone. When they are asleep, they come. We spend the whole day, we know your child. Please communicate with us. If a child has something wrong, there are a hundred reasons. Is he happy at home? Or are you guiding in a proper way? Have you realized your child's potential? Is he kind? Is his language good? What are his personal habits? All these things, they come into play. And we very well know about all those things. That's why teachers are great. And the kind of energy, the kind of tiredness a teacher gets by the end of the day, can't be imagined. It's a person who spends the whole day with 40 students only can understand. So, with a salute for all the teachers, all the teachers sitting here, appreciating your great efforts, I want you to have a wonderful day today for doing this great work. And to conclude my speech, dear children who are, who are here as students. Many of the students who are dressed as teachers do not want to become teachers. Because your parents might have said, what will you become being a teacher? There is no money in that. In a good teacher lies great power. A power to change. A power to lead a good life. Sooner or later, everybody will realize money will not give happiness. Contentment. It can't give peace. Only if you have a good heart, if you are a good person, if you are thinking good of others, if you are not expecting, expect money, 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 money. Expect money. The day you start expecting money, the day, that day you will start feeling peaceful. Or the day you start seeking approval, seeking praise. Somebody wants to go, oh, you are so good, you are so great. <laughs> is it? Is it? Am I great? The day you stop that, the day you only give and not expect, everybody will realize this one day. The sooner, the better. And the, the psychology for that, the philosophy for that, the thought for that is, root, is planted in the schools. That is why teachers are great. Right children, all the te uh, student teachers, wonderful to see you. I have seen so many batches like this, right? So it's a wonderful day for you. Have a nice day. Enjoy your time on this teacher's day. Thank you all so much. I thank Mr. Sir for a wonderful speech. Now the special performance will of those a bit dance.
performance from the primary girls. Yes. Rain or shine, trouble or joy for good, sickness or health, they come running to school to be a part of the system of education and to touch the lives of the many. I'm honored and privileged to have this big team of teachers working and giving their service to the students and student community of Tenali and Guntur and Mujawara. I call on the teachers who completed five years and above. I start with the senior most Three decades worked with founder principal Mr. J. R. Mohan Rao sir and also the principal and chairperson chairman Mr. J. Surat sir. N number of hundreds and hundreds of students every year and I already placed the list from one week so that many of the new staff also can see. These are the teachers who completed these many years at St. John's. I expect all these teachers very close to the stage so that we don't take much time to walk to the stage and all the students kindly move yourself to the shade. As I said, it's only five to seven minutes. Doesn't matter even if it is little sunny, but it is the honor. And I expect the teachers who are going to receive to be in a near the stage pass as soon as possible. All the list of the teachers be near the stage pass. Let us start honoring them with the certificate and a flower bucket and a beautiful memento which can be a lifetime memento. It stays with all of us. I invite our principal, chair person, chairman of the school, Mr. J. Suraj Mohan sir, to do these honors, to do these felicitations for the teachers who completed five years and above. Let us start with the teacher who touched the lives of many as LKG teacher and also she is taken care of n number of students in her so many years. She has trained the students, trained the teachers. She worked hard. She completed 31 years at St. John's. She is Mrs. S. Radha. Give a big hand clap. 31 years at St. John's. Kindly. 
three and a half and four and a half year old. Same work, touching many lives. Seventeen years completed at St. John's, Mrs. B. Hadar Sarani.
introduced to St. John's as a parent, but shown her interest in teaching. Started as a primary teacher for EDS, an English combination. Completed successfully six years at St. John's. Mrs. Muhammad Fadiran Sa.
of our teachers uh, for uh, our felicitation. And all the rest of the teachers, they put up a lot of work, right? So it's not an easy job, teaching job is not an easy job. So with a lot of respect, I give my wishes to all the teachers who are doing a lot of good work. All the teachers, well done, keep it up. And now children, if you all stand up, silently we'll have the penalties. Attention, stand at this. Can I give a little bit more enthusiasm? Attention, stand at this. Attention, stand at this. Children will have the mission to land tomorrow to this.